Charming Pet Guru How to Apologize to Your Cat Hey, everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're talking about something that many cat owners don't think about but is super important. How to Apologize to Your Cat Yes, you heard that right. Just like in human relationships, our feline friends can get upset, and knowing how to make things right is key to keeping that special bond with your furry buddy. So, let's dive into it. What can make my cat sad or upset with me? Even though cats might seem indifferent, they're actually very sensitive to stress, emotions, and noises. People often don't realize that their actions can upset their cats. Here are some things that might make your cat unhappy and could need an apology. Loud noises or shouting can scare your cat. Hitting, shoving, or punishing your cat by rubbing their face in a mess can make them afraid of you. A dirty litter box can stress your cat and lead them to go to the bathroom elsewhere. Kids might tease cats by pulling their tails or treating them roughly, often without meaning to hurt them. Visits to the vet can make your cat anxious. Moving to a new house can be very stressful for cats. Dirty food or water bowls can upset them. Forgetting to feed your cat on time can make them unhappy. Lack of playtime or mental stimulation can make your cat irritable. The 7 Ways You Can Apologize to Your Cat So They Understand 1. Understand how you upset or offended your cat. The first step in apologizing is recognizing that you did something wrong and showing that you're ready to fix it. When you understand what went wrong, your apology becomes more genuine and you're less likely to repeat the mistake. This understanding also helps you know how to apologize better. 2. Timing. Timing is important when you apologize to your cat. If your cat is still upset or annoyed, they might ignore you or run away when you try to apologize. Wait until your cat has calmed down before approaching them. Give them some space and don't force it. However, don't wait too long, or your cat might think you're ignoring them. Watch your cat's body language to find the right moment. If their ears are not back and their body looks relaxed, it might be a good time to apologize. If your cat is hiding or avoiding you, call them softly to see if they're ready to come out. When they do come to you, give them praise and a treat. 3. Stay calm and approach carefully. If you accidentally or intentionally upset your cat, it might also affect how you feel. For example, if you step on your cat's tail, you might feel awful and immediately chase after them. However, this could make your cat even more frightened. Take a moment to calm down before approaching your cat. When you do approach, do so calmly and slowly. Once your cat seems open to it, you can give them some attention. Extend your hand slowly so they can sniff it and get down to their level to avoid seeming threatening. Speak softly, keep your eyes relaxed, and stay calm. If your cat feels safe, they will usually respond by blinking slowly and purring. 4. Verbally apologize. An apology isn't just about the words you use, it's also about how you say them. For your cat, the tone of your voice is important. Research shows that cats can recognize certain words, like their names. Start by calling your cat's name to get their attention. Cats have sensitive hearing and can pick up on different tones. Call your cat's name softly and wait for them to come to you. Using a gentle, baby-like voice can help show your cat that you care and are sorry. Experts say that cats often respond better to this kind of a baby talk. 5. Show your cat affection. A verbal apology is a good first step before showing affection. Start by speaking gently to your cat and creating a relaxed atmosphere. Once your cat seems calmer, you can test how receptive they are by offering your hand. If your cat sniffs or rubs against it, they're open to being petted. You can then gently scratch behind their ears or under their chin, or focus on their favorite spots. Continue showing affection later by giving them cuddles and rubs while they snuggle in your lap or on your bed. 6. Playtime Even though cats are independent and don't need daily walks like dogs, they still need playtime. If you already have playtime as part of your routine with your cat, offering a play session can help rebuild your bond and connection. Playing with your cat can also distract them from what happened earlier, as they'll be focused on having fun and bonding with you. 
This will show your cat that you care, and after playing, they'll likely feel more relaxed, appreciative, and forgiving. 7. Give your cat a treat. This step is for when you've tried the previous suggestions, but your cat still seems upset. Giving your cat a treat can show them that you care, as treats are often seen as rewards. Offering a treat or their favorite toy after apologizing can help lift their spirits. However, don't rely only on treats for your apology. While your cat might accept them, they might still be distant afterward. How do I know when my cat is upset or offended? Cats often seem aloof, and their resting faces can make it hard to tell if they're upset. Observing your cat's body language is the best way to understand how they're feeling. A cat's tail is a good indicator of their mood. If the tail is up or lying down, your cat is likely happy. If they're thumping it or waving it around, they might be annoyed or angry. A puffed-up tail and arched back usually mean they're scared. Ears that are up and relaxed suggest your cat is calm, while ears flattened against the head indicate fear or anger. A relaxed cat will have a calm gaze, but dilated pupils and wide eyes can signal fear. A tense body often means your cat is scared. If your cat is upset, they might turn their head and face away from you. Hissing is a clear sign they're unhappy and need space. A swat with their paw is another strong indicator that they're annoyed. If your cat is ignoring you, it's a sign they're still upset. Conclusion We can accidentally upset our cats, and they deserve an apology to rebuild trust and keep our bond strong. Apologizing to your cat is more about your tone of voice and actions than the words you use. Since cats are sensitive to sounds, speaking softly is the best way to show you care. Before you apologize, give your cat time to calm down, watch their body language, and approach them slowly. Once they seem open to it, speak to them gently and give them some soft petting to show you're sorry. This will help your cat forgive you and restore your connection.